Love and support has been pouring in from across the nation for a local college football player shot in the back on New Year's Eve. His parents say the Marshall University redshirt sophomore is paralyzed and unlikely to ever play football again. Bruce LeShan talked with them exclusively today at Baltimore's Shock Trauma Center. It's heart wrenching and it's, we're just scared. We're just scared. Larry and Melissa Aaron have spent the last eight days at their son's bedside at Maryland Shock Trauma. They have been here almost nonstop since the New Year's Eve phone call that he had been shot in the back at a party in Anne Arundel County while trying to shield his girlfriend from the gunfire. I was in shock. I was upset. I didn't know what to think, what to believe. I was just devastated. The bullet had lodged in the middle of the defensive tackle spine leaving him unable to move his legs. And doctors say they cannot remove it. And they were not able to operate to get it out. The errands say their son is struggling. He was so happy when he got a football scholarship to Marshall University in West Virginia. Now he's on a waiting list for a rehab bed. Some days when his friends come down, um, he kind of perks up a little bit. But then, you know, once the reality sets into him and he's just laying there in that bed, it gets pretty sad. I know it's hard on him. And as a father and a mother seeing their child laying there like it, it's just tearing us up. It's just tearing us up. The Howard County community where Larry played football at Oakland Mills High has rallied around him. So have people around the country. They've contributed more than $25,000 to a GoFundMe page. But his parents fear their tough, athletic son may now never be able to care for himself again. And as a man, personally, I am scared to death of what the future holds. I just want him to be able to walk again. I'm not worried about football. I want him to be happy and enjoy his life. A whole lot of people are rooting for him. In Baltimore, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. Just so heartbreaking. Anne Arundel County Police say they are still looking for leads to help them find the shooter. They are pleading with anybody. If you've got pictures or video or social media from the party to share those things with investigators.